Hello guys, hello guys, uh, hoping that you're all doing good, hoping that you are great today. We are talking about Bruce Ramuhadi, um, who is talking about Orlando Pirates, talking about the coach. He is revealing why is the Orlando Pirates coach not good uh, enough? Can I say not good enough? I don't know, but he is saying that uh, he is not, he's the weakest link in our club. In other ways, Jay. The coach is not good for the team and if we are gonna be winning some maybe the league we will need another coach i think that's how he is saying it but let me go through it then we analyze what exactly is bruce ramohadi saying he used to play for orlando pirates and obviously he is concerned about the inconsistencies that have been happening at the club let's now get to it what is bruce saying he's saying what he, i think uh, the Orlando Pirates' biggest problem is inconsistency. You know, it's con the problem is consistency. This coach uh, changes the team every weekend. Every weekend, there's a new player in the team, so there's no consistency. It's even difficult to predict a team that is not consistent. Changing the team every weekend makes him uh, the weakest link. You see, even in the game that we played against Chiefs, we are all shocked to learn that the likes of Libito, you know, were in the team. We were even more shocked to see the likes of Saleng appearing out of the blue and making the team. Even though he had not started a single game this season. If you play week in and week out as a player, you gain even more momentum, match fitness and lack confidence are never an issue. You know, lack of confidence are never an issue. So I don't see Pirates winning the league under such a coach. It is impossible to achieve with a coach who changes his team too often. Changing five players from the team that played in your previous match, that's just too much. I don't think that's something uh, that can help you win the league, unless if he's told to make those changes. But if he's not forced, then why fix it if it is not broken? So, it's simple. Bruce is saying it as it is, saying that the coach is not good you know, enough for Pirates because of him being inconsistent and he says we are not going to achieve that winning the league and all that with such a coach so the question comes now to say do we need a new coach is this coach not good for us are we disregarding the fact that he's in his second season and already won two trophy three trophies and maybe he might even win his fourth you know are we look uh, overlooking that but what i also like from Bruce is that he's saying if he is the one if the coach is the one that keeps on changing this lineup i find it difficult to come and sit here and say it is the coach who's changing these lineups and coming with different teams every week i don't know why but there's something that tells me with no man as a coach now at what moment does it come to you, to you as a coach to say, hey man, let me change this team. Why would you change a team that is winning? So if the coach, I don't think, is he the one who's making the decisions? There's, there's a lot of questions. And especially after, after the FIFA break, the Pirates will come back with a lineup. I remember so it was another lineup. That was, we didn't know that lineup, you know, of like eight, whatever players and we lost. Like, you, there's always that thing, man, of us changing lineups out of the blue and when the team was doing good in the previous games. So, it's very questionable. So, yeah, guys, uh, I don't know what you guys think about this, but really, this is the, the concern of everyone. Inconsistency is what everyone is crying about in the Orlando Pirates team. And even today, I can tell you, I let him I'm changing a you change. You know, uh, he might not go with all the players that played the last game. Maybe he might change three, four, five, even six. So I, looking forward to the game. I'm just hoping that we win. And if we win, I'm just hoping that let's keep that lineup going. You know, this is not the time to be changing the team. We are now in our last nine, eight, eight nine games. We need to just have a team and go forward and play all the games and try to win all of them. 